Hello, I'm Lucas Crab, and today we're going to be looking at how Ziga Vertov uses an avant-garde approach to cinematography to capture daily life in a way that demonstrates its ultimate unification and relevance to the function of the society within it. Vertov's approach to filmmaking defies logic. We don't follow a protagonist, we flip between various instances with seemingly no correlation. It is within this abstract lens that the greater purpose of daily life in society is visualised. Maurice Blanchot discusses how the everyday strips identity, and this suggests that the individual exists as part of a whole within everyday life. Vertov communicates this by capturing sweeping street shots and countless routines through which the unknown masses go about their day in indistinct unison. It illustrates a sense of flow to daily life, suggesting a sense of unity within the everyday, despite the vast potential of daily activities. As Rita Felsky discusses, the everyday is an experience of the world rather than a set of specific activities, and it is with Vertov's visualization that this is realized. Society, as a unit, drives the everyday, implying a collective value over the individual. This perspective then suggests a purpose for this mass within everyday life. Vertov expands on this through collages of various activities, seemingly separate and distinct. Yet, when considering that Vertov himself discusses examining diverse environments to craft a meaning throughout them, he seeks to define a greater sense of purpose throughout all of these activities. Within the montages that Vertov provides, there is a focus on the revolutionary nature of labour, rather than the product itself. This ties into Felsky's views of all activity representing the routine of the everyday. There is an extreme emphasis on the linear routine that daily activities encompass. They become mechanical in nature. This is something expounded upon when Vertov literally imposes footage of machinery in tandem with labourers at work. This creates the effect of the individual's labour as being a product, serving a far greater whole, that of daily society. This can be correlated with how Sergio Delgado discusses Vertov's goal of integrating the worth of the individual into a larger construct. In imagining man as machine, Vertov objectifies labour into a grander component of advancement demonstrating how society reconstitutes the individual into an ideal component to satisfy the larger machine. This concept of individual objectification is discussed by Agnes Heller, who explains how the individual will alter themselves to satisfy the daily requirements of society. This implies the value of unity through the various objective forms of life. This becomes clear again in how Vertov uses montage. He contrasts numerous societal binaries. In presenting these contrasting binaries within a reflexive, objective narrative, Vertov removes the contextual division and recontextualizes these concepts as integral to the constant revolution of daily life, encompassing them as products of the ever-progressing mass that is societal labor. This construction of an everyday bubble can be aligned with Vertov's professed goal showing the working members of society where they stand in the world. By reimagining the facets of daily life as a product of a larger machine, it presents a sense of unity through which the ideal society may prosper, supporting itself day to day through the cyclical activities of labour. And with that, I conclude this video analysis. Thank you for watching, goodbye.